Hello, hello, welcome back to the Snap-on Tools Tri-County Show, and uh, I dare say uh, I'm very excited to make this video. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed because I was hoping to have more of these bad boys in to actually show you guys the difference. I only have two, but we're talking our PWZ pliers today. So, big thing is with these bad boys is they come in multiple different sizes up to what I believe is a PWZ5 right now and down to a PWZ0. Now, these, which I can do uh, a size comparison, I'm about 5'11", these things are pretty uh, pretty hefty, but if we go to our PWZ3s, they're, again, that one size bigger for those uh, more persuasive uh, jobs you may be on. And like I said, I'll show you. That's PWZ3A, and this is our pwz 2GA. Now the G is just the color. Of course, you can get green, orange, or red. Sometimes dark titanium, sometimes uh, deep purple as well. All depends on what's in stock and what's on featured product status of the week. So without further ado, we're going to talk about these bad boys. I'm going to do my demonstration on our PWZ2s, but it's a lot easier to see the actual manufacturing in the PWZ3s. We got a little bit of fuzzy on them. Um, but biggest thing is, you'll notice your jaws. That's the uh, the place where the rubber meets the road, folks, and that's where you're going to be getting all your grip from. So basically, you'll notice the jaws do articulate. They're kind of like a pipe wrench in the way that they do grab and kind of articulate around whatever you're working on. But they have almost like a vice grip jaw where the teeth, I'll try to get them in focus there, they don't line up. And that's because no matter what, you're trying to grip in. You're not trying to have a nice set of uh, braces, teeth, that fit completely together because you're not going to have them completely together on what you're grabbing on. Uh, along with that, of course, you do have your quick adjust steel ring here. I will tell you this nut, we do have a version that's quick adjust as well now. So if you are working on something that you just want to press and slide the nut up almost like a, like a, um, on a wheel balancer where you press it and slide it in instead of having to thread it the whole way up, we do have that now as well. Those are fantastic, but you set it to whatever setting you need for whichever size bolt. I'll oh, try to get these in focus. These things are so big, um, but whatever size jaw you need, we have the option for you on these bad boys. Now these are lifetime warranty. Haven't had to replace any, but I'm sure with this video coming out, someone's gonna prove me wrong and say they've broken them. I'll tell you with the amount of torque you can put on these bad boys, it's pretty fantastic. And I'm gonna show you how. So. I have a nice piece of snap-on steel stock here. This is half inch. Uh, one thing that I always mention is don't open these up so that it can actually wrench on them. You're going to want this a little bit smaller. And the reason why is when you open that jaw up, these are going to articulate open and actually dig in further. And what I mean by that is if I get this on here and then can get a free hand, which I should be able to. You're going to see how these jaws are actually articulate open. And then if I put a little bit of torque now, right now I have both, uh, both handles in my hand, but what I'm actually going to be able to do, I'm going to adjust a little bit more open. There we go. Now that I got a little bit of handle, uh, pressure on it, you can actually let go of this back handle. So all you got to be doing is pressing on the, uh, the rubberized handle and, and pressing now. I'm trying to do this never mind my shorts i don't want to hear any uh any comments about how nice they are um but basically you'll see that those jaws articulate around that steel stock and do not let go now there's there's basically nothing gonna allow that bolt to uh to uh to release out of the jaws of this bad boy so great little product i will tell you mainly we've sold them to plumbers anything with rounded fasteners so of course plumbing tie rod ends for uh for alignments or just in general rounded bolts um they're a great extraction tool if you have the room for them and like i said with the different sizes that you can get now you get anything from a pwz zero which is about six inches long to the pwz fives which i believe come up to about here on me which like i said about four and a half feet five feet tall so great tools great deals on them if you want any more information comment uh, like the video and subscribe we'll have more for you have a great day